Hello there. Hello. Well, it had to happen. Um, you just you 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 say a few puns, a couple of funny one-liners, and then the floodgates open, and suddenly everyone's a comedian. I have to tell you this one because um, I really liked it. My wife asked me to pass her the lip balm. And I passed her the super glue by mistake instead. Now, she's not talking to me. I like that. I like the silly ones. I like the puns. I like all that kind of stuff. Um, the thing is, it had a certain resonance with me because um, I, I, there's difficulty here because it, it takes you into the man's Worse still, it takes you into the man's bedroom, and there's 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 no easy way to say this. It's just if you are similarly afflicted, I use the word very specifically with situations where how can I put it? Um, sleep is a difficulty for you because snoring fills the room. In fact. Snoring fills quite a few rooms. Um, then, seriously, the thought of super glue as a solution has occurred to me more than once. Uh, but apparently, super gluing closed nostrils and mouth, apparently, it's not good for your breathing. Some quack doctor has said. Anyway, the point is, um, this this coincided with the fact that literally just two days ago, um, the BBC had uh, commissioned a, a survey done by Ipsos. Um, they had um, phoned, how many people had they phoned? They had phoned 2,000 254 UK residents and they were assessing um, for the survey how lockdown provision was affecting their sleep. So basically more than 50% of us are having real problems sleeping because of a whole lot of reasons. Um, we we, uh, we did have a a focus on a, a Sam a few weeks ago where, um, well, rising up early and going to bed late and uh, eating the bread of anxious toil. And it was all about the fact that, uh, well, things are tough. And if things are, if you are living in a godly fashion, there should be a routine and it shouldn't necessarily be um it should be a lot easier to sleep when there's routine, when, you're, when your soul is at peace. And I think, given the, the, the lockdown, I think it's one of those things, it could, I could be um, kind of, it could be overly simplistic. I don't think, um, I don't think it's really about, you know, if you've got Christian faith, then you go to bed and you just fall asleep and everything's, well, in my wife's case, yes, that is the, the case. But for the majority of people, um, the issues are more complicated um, because there are things that get people worried. If you're, if you're a key worker, but you don't get to spend time with your children because you work in the NHS and you might pass the virus on to family members, but as a consequence, you don't see them, then clearly there's a real worry there. Um, so what do you do when you have genuine concerns, genuine worries? Um, what you need to do is, well, uh, in terms of the benefits of sleep and what you do to make sleep most conducive to, ha to, to be the thing that you do. And they talk about routine being very important, trying to go to bed roughly at the same time. Um, again, that's proving quite difficult for a lot of people. Um, what, what the survey was saying was that people are lying longer, resting more, 
but feeling less rested. That's what the majority are doing. I think it's something like 52-53%. They said 25% of people are actually sleeping longer and feeling better. Um, the issue is, if sleeping is an issue for you, then I do think there's that balance to be struck. I don't think you just quote some Bible verses and then suddenly you nod off. But one of the things that does make it clear is that you are supposed to um, understand the techniques as well as have the theology correct. You need both correct. Um, be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3, 24. Um, as I'm reading that, I'm thinking, if that's not how you feel, then that's a difficult verse. We'll get to the techniques in a few moments. The thing is, I'm saying anxiety can be something that has suddenly started during the lockdown, or it could have been your experience for a lot longer. For those for whom anxiety has been a lot longer, and that still sleep, then the Bible verses are where you start, because you need to get a right understanding and a godly understanding of what the situation is. This is Psalm 4. I will both lay down in peace and sleep, for you, Lord, only make me dwell in safety. Ultimately, it's having that peace from God. That's the right starting point. That doesn't mean to say lockdown sleep is going to be no problem, but it does mean you have to begin in the right place. And the right place, as you would imagine, is with God. And when you have peace from him, that's the beginning. In terms of the techniques, um, it was a study by um, the American Armed Services. They did, they, they did it for the RAF, the Air Force, they did it for the Army, and they did it for um, those working in the Navy. They have to be able to do the work that they have to do, and if they have to work on, then they work on, but they then have to get sleep straight away if they need it. And if they've got a limited amount of time, they have to be able to fall asleep quickly. And the technique that they used, um, and they said they have to practice it, but if you practice it for about, I think they said, uh, 20 to 30 days, um, normally it's, apparently it is, psychologists will say, if you can do something for 40 days, You've either broken the habit that you were trying to break or you've formed a new habit to actually initiate a better uh, lifestyle. And um, so 40 days, what they were doing was um, they started with their feet, literally with their toes. You know how that thing where you can actually feel your heartbeat if you concentrate on a part of the body and you begin to feel the pulse of your heart in that part of the body, it slows everything down. And what they said was you basically start with your feet and work your way up. Um, you send your body to sleep bit by bit and just work your way up. When you get to the point where the rest of your body is at peace and stable and fine, if you get well practiced at it, you can fall asleep very quickly. The fact is, it is something that's an issue and it is something that's really certainly in lockdown times it's become an issue for more and more people the majority more than half are having sleep problems if you are then one will continue to pray for you as in we've been praying for various things that uh, um, are afflicting people at this time uh, and what i uh, want to make sure is you don't use super glue uh, you use things that technique, that use things that allow you to build up a technique to get you to self to sleep. But above all else, recognize that peace ultimately is a gift from God. And when you have that peace, you will not sleep. Go with God, because I know he goes with you.